what would be your strategy for getting better at marketing it so you can attract more people? It's, it's the biggest mistake yeah. most, that most podcasts make is you, you ask questions that you think your audience will care about instead of asking questions that actually help you personally. It's not about making you mm -hmm. look good, it's about making that person look good. And then you tag them in the story and it's easy for them just to reshare it to their audience as well. Hey, hey, how are you? Wow. I'm okay. I wasn't expecting you to say yes. <laughs> you, ask, Hi. You, never, you never know what's gonna happen. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Thank you. Um, wow. <laughs> I need a moment. Uh, and I wish I had my selfie stick. But um, so my question, I thought it was really funny that you answered a question about podcasting because okay. I've been really struggling with um, some mindset related stuff, really. Um, but about when it's okay to approach people about asking them to come on my podcast and interview them. It's still very new. And I was mostly starting because I was listening to you a little bit, <laughs> just start anyway <laughs> and see if I even like it. Um, and I do, I'm an introvert and that's part of my brand is to help introverts make more money from home. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to know that I could do podcasting consistently. So I am at one episode a week currently nice. and I want to start collaborating and, and bringing people to the platform, but I've just built the audience and I, and I'm not very good at marketing it just yet. So any feedback would be great. So there's a couple of things in there. When you ask, when is it too soon to go off and, and talk to people? You can, you can ask people right away. It, it doesn't mean you're going to get a yes, but you're not going to offend them. Right. I mean, don't follow up every single day and say, Hey, are you ready yet? Hey, you ready yet? Hey, you ready yet? Right. But you make your list of people who you'd like to have on, and then you reach out, and most people won't even write back to you. Most people won't even see the message. That's okay. Don't don't take it personally. E even for my book, I'm writing to people who who I know, who I've made videos on, who who I've helped support a lot of their stuff, and some people aren't even writing back. Right? That it's just part of the game, right? I mean, I was talking to one guy today, and his his um, you know mom is in in the hospital because she has. COVID and she's worried, he's, you know, I mean, just my book right now is nowhere near top of his priority. And I totally get that, right? People have busy lives. And so it's, it's never too soon to reach out. You share the story. Your angle is not going to be, Hey, I'm going to get you exposure to a million people. Your angle is going to be, yeah. I'm an introvert. I, I'd, I'd, I'd love your help to either help you with something like an interview where, where they're going to help you with something that you're facing or you'd love to help share their story to other introverts and be a part of your success story. Um, and some people would really resonate with that. And some people would be like, no, I don't, don't want to do it. And, and that's okay. That's, that's, that's just part of the game. So it's, it's never too soon yeah. to reach out with your story. And uh, I appreciate that. I know for me, it's definitely like learning how to not take stuff so personally. <laughs> So that's, I know that that's my, my thing. I take things very personally. I'm a sensitive type. Um, so I've just been trying to get out of my own head about it. Yeah, I, I just, as far as podcasting goes, um, what would be your strategy for getting better at marketing it so you can attract more people? Um, so a couple of things. One, I would bring on guests who can either, either who have a name, who then you can use their name to go get other people. And so, you know, Evan Carmichael means something to some people and means zero to other people, right? So you want to bring on people who mean something to the community that you're trying to connect with. And then you, you leverage their name to go get other people and other people and other people. Um, or you, you connect with people who have a list who will be willing to share it and market and promote it. Um, okay. I would take every episode that you do and and then break it up into the three most fire clips from that person. This is what I do. So I'll tell you exactly what I did. When I bring guests onto my shows, uh, so who do we just have today? Nina, who do we do today? Tony Robbins? Okay, so Tony really? Robbins. Okay. So I, I did an interview with Tony Robbins. I had him on my show. Um, we took the three best clips. So that was like a 30 minute conversation or something. We took the three best clips of that and then what day is today? The what day is today? May. I don't even know. Six. Uh, Wednesday. May May sixth. Yeah. May sixth. Okay. So the sixth of every month is Tony Robbins Day for us, which means we're going to promote 
uh, one of our Tony Robbins fire clips on Instagram in our stories. So if you ever, if you watch my okay. stories, you'll see every day we promote an interview that I did with somebody. So the six of every month, so May 6th, June 6th, July 6th is going to be Tony Robbins day. And we're going to take the three best clips and cycle them through. So May 6th is okay. clip number one. June 6th is clip number two. July 6th is clip number three. And then August 6th is back to clip number one again. Wow. Okay. And then we That's tag cool. them. We tag them. And, and a lot of times people will share it. I don't know if Tony has, has he's shared some of them. He doesn't share it every time. Um, this morning, Brendan Burchard shared uh, a post that I did tagging him. And so you're making it, you make them look good. Right? It's not about making you look good. It's about making that person look good. And then you tag them in the story, and it's easy for them just to reshare it to their audience as well. And they'll look at that. Okay. Oh, who's, this, who's, this, who's this Jay person? Who's this Glow, glow Jay person? I'm going to go check her out. Right? It's super easy for them to just share it. And so you take your 30 best interviews, and you assign um, a day of the month for that person. And then you're every day tagging somebody um, in the content. Okay, cool. Thank you. That's wow. I didn't think about that. So thank you. Um, and it did kind of expose that I've, I've, I've even had a, a talk with someone that's a brand strategist. And it does seem like that's a big part of it is making them look good on the branding side of marketing. So yeah, the, the best really, way to really make helpful. somebody look good. Sure. But I, I know it's, it's not going to be your intention to have somebody come on and try to make them look bad. Right. You're not going to have people come on and like, hey, my goal is to embarrass you or to try to, you know, make you look stupid. Um, the, the best thing you can do, the best way to make them look good is by them actually being good and helping helping you through a problem. So if you're going to have a branding person come on, it should be about helping you build your brand. Mm -hmm. Not just about yeah. not just generic like brand. Hey, how does somebody market their their brand? Not a generic question. You say, "Hey, I just started this podcast. I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do with my brand. What do you think I should do?" And they're coaching you through the process. So you bring on guests who there's something that you want to learn from, and then ask them personal questions that help you. And in helping you, they're helping your audience as well. It's, it's the biggest mistake yeah. most, that most guests, most podcasts make, is you, you ask questions that you think your audience will care about instead of asking questions that actually help you personally. Okay. Thank you, actually. And it's it's been tricky because I'm looking for introvert professionals and entrepreneurs only. So it does take some kind of sourcing to find that out. Uh, so I appreciate that tip. Thank you. So I'm an introvert entrepreneur. You are. You're, you're one of my favorite ones. <laughs> so how come you haven't asked me to be on your show? I would love for you to be on my show. I, guess, I would love for you to be on my show. It's still very small, but I would love for you to be on my show. If you are open to that, please, please be on my show. So I will come on your show. Uh, DM me after this, and I'll connect you to my assistant. And, and what you okay? This is this is this this is the lesson, right? So as I was talking to you about uh, just asking people, and it's never too soon. The next step should be, hey, Evan, you're one of my favorite entrepreneurs. You're an introvert, too. Will you be on my show? And the worst I'm going to say is I can't right now. I'm, like, what am I, I'm not going to say, I hate you. Never talk to me again. Right. Um, and I know that it's hard, especially being an introvert. It's hard. And but that's like that's the lesson is to take immediate action. Um, when I was in Puerto Rico a couple months ago and I asked Brendan Burchard for advice on how to promote my book. He said the best thing you can do is have people read the book. So you take passages from the book and you ask people to read it. And so even though my heart, in my head, I was saying, I should ask Brendan to read the book. He just gave me this idea. I should ask him, like, Brendan, will you be my first guy? And my heart's like, boom, 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 like out of my chest. And okay, I have to do it. And so I asked him and he said yes. And he could have said no. And, and lots of people, you know, will say no or just completely ignore you. But the... Um, the willingness to jump in and just ask the question because if you don't ask, you're taking the yes away from them. You're saying no yeah. for them. Right. 
So good. So we're gonna do you're gonna do your episode. I'm excited. DM me, we'll make it happen. And then and then what you Thank can you. do is use my name afterward. You should do exactly what we talked about. Take the three best clips, and every May, every like tenth of the month is Evan Carmichael Day, and you you make me look good so that I want to share it with my audience. And then you use my okay. name to uh, other entrepreneurs. There's a good chance people would know who I am. Uh, introvert professionals, maybe not. So you know, you use my name to go after. Like, look at who's following me. That's a good. That's a good sign on Instagram, and see who else is an introvert or might have introvert tendencies or people who you kind of mess with, and and then reach out to them once our episode is done and say, hey, we did Evan Carmichael. Will you come on my show too? Thank you. I am so excited. All right. Thank you so much. It's right. happening. I appreciate this. Much love. And for allowing me to be on the live today. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you for the love. Good luck. If you have a podcast or interview show and want me to be a guest on it, I have two options for you. There's a link right there next to me. Go click it, and I look forward to being a guest on your show.